Welcome to setting up screen templates. This is the second tutorial uh, in the in the uh, first module of the workshop. And what we're going to be doing here is you'll notice that we're going to pick up where we left off in the first tutorial. Um, we had set up kind of done some cleanup on the slide master templates. We are still going to be working in the slide master area, so if you need to return back to that, that would be a good thing to do. Um, but what we're going to be doing here is actually setting up the screen templates, and we're going to set up three of them uh, that we can then use later as a as a guide for creating our screen layouts. And this again will uh, assist with consistency of design, and will also assist with the uh, the ability for the learner to feel comfortable learning uh, with this. So these kind of build on many of those design principles that you've learned about so far in this workshop. Okay, the first thing I want to do is go up here to this main slide, and this main slide actually controls anything that is going to be consistent throughout the entire duration of the lesson. So we can think of things like a, um, a, a main heading section, a main footer section, maybe a sidebar section where you might end up putting some, some navigation menu or something like that. So what we're going to do is actually do some very simple work. I'm not going to do any um, styling right now, but I am going to place some some wireframes is what they're called. So to do that I'm going to select the in the insert tab, going to choose shapes and then the rectangle tool. And what I'm going to do is actually click and drag that across the top of the screen. I'm going to cover the entire width of the screen with that and just kind of resize it there. I'm not going to do again do any styling with it. I just want something to hold its place. Okay. Next I'm going to go to the same spot, shapes and then rectangle tool. And then I'm going to click and drag across the bottom of the screen. So what I've done here so far is create my header and my footer for the screen layout. And you'll notice that as I do this in this main area, the, the sub screens will actually uh, mirror that decision, or that mirror that work. I'm going to add one other piece of information on here, and that's going to do another rectangle tool. And I'm going to actually add an area where we may put some navigation later. And so I'm just going to draw that out just like that. So now I have, I have, this breaks out into four main areas of the screen. I have the header, I have the footer, I have a navigation area, and then I have the main area where the content will appear. So we haven't done any sort of styling other than just the, the general styles that PowerPoint has applied, but we do have a general layout that we'll work with. Okay, so first what we want to do is go to the second one down, which will actually be our first uh, sl uh, our first template that we're going to work with, and we're going to modify some things about this. The first thing is I want to create a style uh, for it for the the text in the header. So I'm going to highlight that, and I don't actually want it to be centered. I'm going to left align it, and I'm working in the Home tab here. I also want to adjust the text styles just so it's a little more workable for now. I'm going to redraw this uh, this box here and move it so that I see it being uh, located in the right header area. Okay, I also have this particular section here where it's going to be our main content area. I'm actually going to make the text again a little smaller for that. I'm going to make that 16 point. Okay, so I've remodified and repurposed the main elements there on the screen, but I also have a few other things that I'd like to add as well. So I'm going to go back to the slide master here and add a placeholder. I'm going to choose the content window, and I'm actually going to click and draw right on there. And you'll notice that pre-populates some content, and so we have to do the same thing by removing the bullet points uh, for that. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to drag this out just a little bit. Okay, I want to make this just a little smaller. I'm going to go to a I'm going to go to a 24 point for right now. I'm going to go ahead and bold that. And as we start working here, you may want to readjust some of the the layouts here. Um, just just as we're working, we're trying to get general layout schemes going. Okay, one of the tools that you will want to use um, as you're building out your templates is the align tool. 
And what this does is it increases consistency and it also increases just the general uh, professionalism of the content. So I'm going to select that and while holding down the shift key I'm going to select the other content area here. I'm going to select a range up in the home tab and then under the align option I'm going to choose align left. And I was actually pretty close there but this allows the aligns the left side of both of those boxes. Okay, the final thing that I'm going to add in is a place for navigation. I'm going to go in here and choose the content window. And in this general navigation area, I'm going to click and drag. And again, we're going to have to delete some, some information from there. Okay, and I'm going to select that. I'm going to make this quite a bit smaller so that uh, that's not going to get in the way. But what we've done there, let me drag this all the way down, is add a section where we can place navigation information if we need it. Okay, so what we've done is we've created one template. Now we need to kind of um, kind of re remodify this template because right now it'd be good for presenting full uh, text or full content on the screen. However, it's not going to be very good for um, for a split screen if we need to do that sort of sort of information. And so what I'm going to do here is simply go to that the title the title that we've been working on the, the screen. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose duplicate layout. And what that does is that makes a complete duplication of what there is what is on the screen. Now all I'm going to do is actually modify that to create the split screen. So as I click on this main content area, notice that the squares appear and I'm going to click and drag that so that it's just a little inside of the uh, the halfway mark there. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to select control C and then click off of it and control V. And what this does is it created a direct copy of that. I'm going to go ahead and line that visually at first. So now we have our split screen and now I'm going to again align by clicking on the left one first and then shift key and click on the right. Go up to the arrange menu. This time I'm going to align to top to make sure that they're aligned there at the top perfectly. And I'm going to just kind of switch back and forth here to make sure that I'm in the ballpark. It looks like I am. So that's a good sign. And so what I've done here, just to kind of recap, is I've created a general layout of the, the screen. I've left this first one alone here. We're actually not going to do that do much with that. And then I've created a main full uh, content area. And then I've created a split screen template. So this gives me essentially two main templates to work with uh, in as I begin to actually build out my e-learning lesson. And this is actually where we'll stop for this module. In the next module, we're actually going to begin building in some navigation and looking at some principles uh, for increasing the usability of, of this particular template. Before I stop, I'm going to select Save, so I saved my work. And then I'll see you in the next module as we begin looking at usability.